Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deep Vike, and welcome to another episode of Zeus and Medusa. Now, for those of you who are actually following this series, I think they were expecting episode 8 of the first campaign. Funny story, and long story short, I lost the save game files, and there's not going to be an episode 8 from the first campaign, because um, I played it so many times, I'm not going to start it again just to finish episode 8. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start and play the second campaign, Perseus and Medusa. And maybe, maybe, sometime for now, I will do episode 8 just so we can finish the game. But until then, we still got a lot of campaigns to go, and I don't see the point in doing Zeus and Europa all over again just for the last mission. Although it pains me to say this. So on we go with the second campaign, Perseus and Medusa. The people of Greece are scattered around the country. You will gather them together like a shepherd gathers his flock and lead them to a brighter day. This adventure is not too challenging and consists of six episodes. Also, I'm going to be doing some voices. Okay, begin darkness, adventure. Wow, this is too Greece, loud. And the people lived apart from each other. Okay, now, a new day 500 up, people in homestead or better, produce 20 canes of fleece in one year, yearly profit of 500. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh wait, um, was it at Olympian difficulty? Uh, how do I check that? Let's see, um, difficulty, mortal, no? That's for mortals, I want Olympian. Right, so it's been some time since I've played, and I think it's been two months. I'm gonna have to get used to the controls of the game again. But I remember this map. It's when Poseidon kicks your ass. Hmm. Right, let's do... Let's make the um, housing block. Now, how, um, how did I do it? It was a 10 by 4, right? How much was the house? 30. So we got 10. And then... 4, and then another 10, and then 4. <clears throat> Build the road. Right, now we need a... Common Agora. Wait, let's check what kind of food we have. Not much, so we got fishery and carding shed. So we're gonna put the common agora on this side because we're gonna put the fisheries right here. First we need a food vendor. Let's not forget a maintenance office. And that's about it so far. Now, we should build a road right here. So we can get on with fishing. And I think we're gonna need quite a few fisheries. One, two, three, four. Five, why not? Gonna connect them via road. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna put another maintenance office right here next to where we will put the granary. We won't put the granary near the fisheries because keeping in mind Poseidon attacks, there might be some floods and it will flood the granary and we'll lose a lot of uh, food and then houses will start devolving so we don't want any of that. Right, this is all we need so far, so let's speed up the game a bit. I've heard that there's a cornucopia of food here. Yummy! Mm -hmm. Yummy! Mm -hmm. A new city, a new home, and, and maybe, maybe a, a new, new job. job. Fortune, Fortune is smiling upon, upon me. me. I'm so hungry. Forget the buildings, <laughs> I'm about to collapse. I always found this guy hungry. Hungry, no, funny. He is hungry, but he's funny. I'm so hungry. Forget the buildings, I'm about to collapse. Okay, so the dude started building their boats. Let's check unemployment. No unemployment whatsoever. We actually need a lot of workers. 
So what was the um, goal again? We gotta produce skeins of fleece. We need profits, so we gotta export stuff. Right. So as soon as we get the food industry going, the fish industry going, we're gonna build the fleece industry. Collapsed building. Of course. Because the maintenance office isn't doing squat. Wasn't a good place to put it, actually. Yeah, I think this is better. <clears throat> so, we got how much food? Far too little food. Chosan discovered. Hygiene is near perfect and rising. Okay, we got unemployment, 26%, so we better slow the game down. Build another road over here and start the fleece industry. Which is made of two carding sheds and a lot of sheep. Come on, come on. Now we have to put a maintenance office and not a granary, but a storehouse somewhere around here. So this Agora can reach it. Please. Yeah, 32. Why not? And it looks like we still need a lot more fish. This is why I hate fisheries. They're no good. They take up a lot of workers, 10 workers, and production per worker is very bad if you ask me. But there's nothing else we can produce. So there's nothing we can do about it. 23 workers needed. Right, so what else do they need? The appeal of the neighborhood. How much money? We got uh, 6,000 drachmas, so we that that's a bit. We can manage. Mm. Yeah, let's build some columns. Why not? Not cheap, I'll tell you that. Like a thousand drachmas worth of columns. Oh right, and I forgot about the water. So a fountain over here and one over here. Chosan buys more fleece. Of course they do. And is it a trading post? Yes, thank god it's a trading post. We have a trading post to Trozan. Right, we should start selling fleece. Culture. Now the first thing I do for culture is gymnasium, but it seems we don't have that and we're just gonna build a theater. Right. Hmm. Now, you know, I actually forgot where I used to put these buildings. Let's just put this here and the drama school. Let's put it... Here. See what happens. Will actors walk on this side of the block or just these two sides? You are more popular than Baklava. <laughs> No, wait, so it, I think it was actually the other way around. I'm supposed to put the theater. Okay. It is showing I haven't played for a while. There we go. Okay, so population is up. Worker count is up. Now we're supposed to sell some fleece. I 
I think we're also going to need more carding sheds. Hygiene is deteriorating. No problem. No problem. There we go. <clears throat> My city needs more workers. Okay, so we need some extra fleece. Not extra fleece, but we need a fleece vendor. There we go, go buy some fleece. Come on, come on. Now we're also gonna build two more carding sheds. Well, let's hope that will be enough to sustain the fleece needs in the city and also the export. And of course, let me save the game. So let's see what this um, city is called. Argos. So we're gonna save Argos 1. Granary is filled with fish. I'm just gonna build another one right here. Just have that little extra fish, just in case Poseidon decides to show up and mess up our stuff. Right, right, right. Do we have... No, we don't have any monuments, but so far we should... Yeah, next year I think we're, we will finish this mission. I think we should also build a palace if we could but we can't so yeah i think we're just gonna have to wait and finish this this mission and i think poseidon comes starting with a second mission well let's see what this guy says will he say like um what was it have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. Eureka! The superintendent. Oh, so that's what they're called. Hm. Right. Let's see. Unemployment 7. Uh, yeah, we're just going to build another carding shed. It look, Because it looks like we're selling a lot of fleece. And we won't have enough fleece for ourselves. So we're gonna click on not selling and add a few more sheep into the mix. Now we need the yearly profit and we will be done with this mission. Price increase for fleets, not bad. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so we got two more months. And we will finish this mission. And we actually finished. Proceed.